life's right here. It's waiting for you. All you have to do is walk into it. We can be a family, you, me, and Douglas. We can be happy. I, I just thought we agreed to see where this goes. I don't know what I want, Thomas. I think you do. You just have to admit it. Choose joy instead of pain. You think it's a choice? I do. But you, you have to decide to move on. Liam did when he went to be with Steffi and the girls. And that's what you wanted. Now want something for yourself. Your future's right here in front of you. Choose it. Choose me. How is life at Chateau Steffi? Uh, it's changing. Well, you got little ones running around, it makes sense. It's not just the girls anymore. Now that Hope and Liam's annulment is official, I asked him to move back in. Really? And? He accepted. He's in the nursery with the girls. Well, that's great news for you. Kelly and Phoebe, I'm uh, just not sure my wife will agree. Well, Liam's coming out. I gotta go. All right, go. They're both down. Nice to have a baby whisperer in the house. You know, like you need my help. I'm really glad you're back. Me too. I'm also glad you're back. Thomas is? Yeah. What do you think? It's a little edgy for hope for the future. Well, he's the new lead designer, so he wants to shake things up. As long as he doesn't lose sight of what Hope for the Future stands for. I don't think Hope would let that happen. There is something you should know. Uh-oh. I know that tone. How much will I hate it? Guest room? Yeah, guest room's great. But guest has to earn his keep, so put me to work. You know, I want to help out around here. Don't think I won't. <laughs> Please do. Use me. Abuse me, really. Let me get so you don't have to think. And yeah, if you could if you could pull that off, that'd be nice too. Look, I am. Um... I know you're hurting. I know uh, the annulment wasn't your choice. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. I just don't feel like you have to censor yourself on my account. Like, I totally understand if hope is on your mind. I was hoping that this wouldn't happen. I know. But Liam, moving in with Steffi, being a full-time dad, that's what your daughter wants. Hope hasn't been thinking clearly since Beth died. She's been making mistake after mistake, and I just don't want her to wake up one morning full of regret. She's a grown woman. She's going to make her own decisions, whether you like it or not. I know. It's just she's my daughter, and I will always worry. Come here. She's been through so much. I just wish that something could take her pain away. <laughs> this can't be good. Thomas summoning us here? I mean, what if he told Steffi and Hope about Beth? 
I hope he did. At least it would finally be out of our hands. And into the hands of the police. Wonderful. What happened? Did you tell Hope and Steffi? No. Well, when are you going to? I won't be revealing Phoebe's true identity, not to Steffi or to Hope. And neither will you. Not a word. Not ever. I'm sorry, wrong room. Being concerned about our kids is never gonna go away. But we gotta be careful that we don't get lost in somebody else's lives. We need some attention too. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. You've been working some late nights. Well, it's a dirty job, but mm -hmm. someone has to do it. You put in a lot of time there. Mentoring and designing and running that company. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you might want to pull back a little? I mean, we could have some quality time together. We could travel the world, have adventures. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? So I'm gonna you call you bluff right now. If I went and bought tickets, you could just pack your bags and leave everything here. Uh... I'm just worried about leaving Hope here while she's in this fragile emotional state. And I like working. I like my job. Sabbatical right now would not be right. And Thomas being here and raising Douglas by himself, I think he needs me. And mm. look at this. It's getting really good. It's what they call a breakthrough, I think, right? him doing this job at Hope for the Future, I mean, this could be a really big deal for him. He needs that. He's the heir apparent. What? I thought it was Steffi. Yes, I mean, yes, Steffi is gonna run the company. She's amazing. She's got a great eye, but Thomas, he's the designer. Uh, he's good. There's a but, right? What, what is it? I have my reservations about him being back in the middle. He's had a troubled past, and now he wants to be back with hope again. It's just unsettling. Wait, what? You can't be serious. You didn't tell Steffi or Hope that Beth is alive? I just told you no. What happened? I went over to Steffi's to tell her the truth, and I saw her and Liam being parents to Kelly and Phoebe and, and their family now, those four. It's a beautiful thing. Now that Liam's moved back in. That was fast. Yeah, well, why should he wait? And his marriage to Hope is over. It wouldn't be if they knew the truth. This is so wrong. I'm sorry, wrong room. Liam's first night with Steffi and the girls. How do you feel about that? Happy. Hope. No, I mean it, Mom. I wanted Liam to be a full-time father, and Kelly and Phoebe, they need him. And he's lucky to get to spend all that time with those girls, especially Phoebe. I miss her so much. Actually. As soon as they wake up, I can take them to the beach. Mm -hmm. And then you can sleep in. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, actually, that's why I, I wanted to call. It's, um, Liam, you did the right thing. You heard I'm staying at Steffi's. Mm hmm Yes. And that's exactly what I wanted. Um, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, anything, you know that. Could you just, could you keep sending pictures of you and the girls? Are you sure? It will help me through this. 
seeing you and the girls together as a family? I, I mean, yeah, of course, if you feel that strongly about it. I do. So have a good night. <laughs> Give Phoebe a kiss from Auntie Hope. Uh, Hope wants more pictures of me and the girls. You think that's wise? I don't know, but she seemed really insistent. You asked Liam to send you pictures of the girls from Stuffies? Honey, what do you want to do? You want to torture yourself? No, it's just the opposite. Is seeing Phoebe, both of the girls, with Liam in their home environment, knowing that they're gonna be living their best life with him there, it makes me happier than anything. So, Hope must have known that Phoebe was particularly photogenic tonight. Let me see. <laughs> oh, look at her face. I know. Oh, look at her face. It's almost <laughs> like Phoebe knew it was for Hope. It's not too late to fix this. You and Liam can remarry. <laughs> Liam sent some photos. Oh, let's see. Oh my okay. gosh. So adorable. So here he is with <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, look at the way Phoebe looks at him. Oh, I love him so much. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Phoebe, she just triggers something in me. Something that I thought was only for Beth. Three words. Phoebe is Beth. That's all it would take. This would change Hope's life. She has suffered enough. She deserves to know the truth. I don't have to justify anything to the three of you. I'm telling you how it's going to be. No one will know that Beth is alive. Wow. Look, I'm not saying I'm happy about it, but tragedies happen. They don't get magically undone. You have to pick yourself up and keep moving forward, and that is exactly what Hope's going to do. It's been decided. By you? By the universe, by fate. Look, maybe Caroline dying, maybe there was a reason for that. And your father, what he did, maybe there was a reason for that too. You honestly believe all of that? Everything is a stepping stone, leading to an eventual, inevitable outcome, a future of Hope, Douglas, and me. And for the three of you, could be your path to success, working with Hope and me on the line. If you make smart choices. Let me guess, if we go along with you. Look, Steffi may be co-CEO for now, but I am the future of this company. I'm the designer. I'm the firstborn. Forrester is my birthright. Hope and I will rule this company together. Besides. You're in too deep, you can't go back now. You say you love Hope. I do. Then how could you do this to her? Because he's not thinking about Hope, or Douglas, or the girls. Thomas is all about himself. Okay, do I need to remind you what happens if this all comes out? Your girlfriend goes to prison, okay? And you, what happens if Wyatt finds out about what you did to his brother? I don't think hate is too strong of a word. You're threatening us. If you talk, there will be consequences. Prison, scandal, ostracism. Your futures will be non-existent. Oh, but your consciences will be clear. Is that a trade-off you can live with? Is it? You know, every time my father would leave my mother to go back to Brooke, he would say it was his destiny. And that used to hurt like hell, but now I feel like I understand. I have a destiny too. You mean hope? You two weren't involved that long, and that was years ago. I don't answer to you, it's the other way around. So here's the deal. You're all gonna keep your mouth shut, and I'll make sure you reach whatever goals you have set for yourselves here at Forrester. And if we refuse, we'll never work in this town again, is basically what you're saying. Look, this started out bad, I admit it. 
but what seemed like an insurmountable tragedy can turn into a blessing. Look, I know you don't want to see your father go to prison. Of course not. Well, then you have no other choice. You keep the secret. I will. And you. You got a great future here, right? A new family, limitless career potential. You and Wyatt could start your own family soon. But all that goes away if he finds out what you did and you're convicted as an accomplice. I'm not a part of this. Your threats of prison hold no power over me, so now what? You'll keep quiet like the rest. You gonna take my job? Fight me? Yes. And I will systematically destroy Zoe's life. I'll make sure her and her father go to prison for as long as possible, and nothing good happens to them once they're out. And as for you, oh, you'll wish you were in prison. Safe behind bars from me. Xander, please. For Zoe. Smart man. Then we're all agreed. I thought you thought I was going to accidentally come in again. But guess what? I'm not. I think Hope and Thomas would be good together now that her relationship with Liam is over. They're not over. Not in their hearts. I think they both deserve a second chance. I've been through a lot. I mean, look, look what Thomas has been through. I know. But. But what? I mean, it's hard to talk about Rich. He's your son. I just get a very strange feeling from him. It's really troubling. All of this intensity that he has towards hope in a very vulnerable time. just happened. Thomas Forrester, he's not playing around. Okay, he could do exactly what he said he'd do and destroy all of our lives. We just made a deal with the devil. But Thomas isn't just in love with hope. He's obsessed with her. Come in. It's just a photo Liam sent me. Put it away. I'm sorry. Put the phone down, Hope. It's okay. Really, I'm... It's not making me upset. It brings me joy, seeing Phoebe. It's not bittersweet. Liam being with Steffi, even though... That's what I've wanted all along. <laughs> it's okay. I'm here. I'm here.